Hi, welcome to another video by Daniel and John and today we're back on the Discovery 2 and we've got an oil leak and it's the rocker cover gasket and it's sort of leaking at the back there and dripping down so the solution to this is to buy a new one and replace it and the reason these leak is they're rubber and over time they harden and just leak this is the well known for it so our engine is a 15p that's quite important there is a 10p and the reason you need to know that is because just there, which Daniel will tell you, EGR cooler, and that indicates it's a 15p. Because it's a later model. So our 15p takes this gasket, there's a code, and we bought this from JGS 4x4, and I think it was about £8, wasn't it? With delivery. So that's quite good. and very reliable people there. Yep. So the tools you're going to need, you're going to need to remove this cover here, which is the engine cover, and in various places there are bolts, we've already removed them, in fact we often leave this off because we don't need them on, and they are in there, and to remove them you need a 13mm socket. There's one round the side there as well, I'll just show you that. It's down there, yeah. literally there. So that's the first thing you need. You'll also need a eight mil socket, and that's to take the rocker gasket cover off. You need a screwdriver. That's to pry this pipe off, which is attached to it. We'll show you in a minute. Uh, you'll need a torque wrench, and that's to torque the bolts back up on the rocker cover to ten newton meters. Um, attached to this pipe here, there's a clip on the end, so you'll either need some mould grips or a clip remover basically. Yeah. So let's have a look underneath now. Oh, and you'll need a bucket of water and a black bag. Just for washing down and yeah. things. So let's Depending what's the there when you get to it sort of thing. So the first thing to do, as John says, is to remove the cover, which is quite easy. Three bolts. Three bolts, 13 mil. You may or may not have this cover on. And then just pull up. Get out of more of an angle with that, yeah. That's it. And you're presented with that. So there's a rocker cover. Yeah. Bolts all the way around. Breather hose. These are 8mm and we'll need to undo all of these. Make sure you've got something safe to keep them in. I've got a magnetic thing here. It's all over. So this is the pipe we were talking about. You need to remove this. And most people have got a pair of mould grips. That's just, got a, that's just got a spring clip on that, like you'd find on coolant hoses. Yeah. I just need to loosen that off and bring it back. The thing you find with the Discovery is you've always got to like reach into the engine bay. Yeah. So, so that's the easiest way of removing that. Sometimes it will just slide off. If it doesn't, just a bit of a prize with that just to loosen around the edges. That will come off easy by the looks of it. There we go, that's off. Okay. And that's it. So our next job is to remove all these bolts. Yeah, I've got a little clamp there. Doesn't look like that's attached to anything. It maybe it might have had something, something on it previously. Old days. Uh, while we're in there we'll have a look at this here, make sure it's not leaking through. Yeah. Um, so we'll get these bolts out so as not to bore you and then we'll come back to you and show you what the problem is but it leaks at the back there. If you've got oil in your injector loom you might also want to replace that at the same time but we'll show that in a minute. So we've got most of the bolts out and the only problem we've encountered, the niggly problem, is at the back where the two bolts there. If you try, if you leave that on there, you, you're at an angle all the time with it, and you're going to round the head off on those bolts. So pull that back there, that trim, 
push your sound deadening in, in a bit and get a longer extension bar and that way you can come straight down onto those bolts. So that's one thing with spotted bolt you're going along. The other thing is that where the bolts have come out on the cover there are these things and these provide obviously a washer and clamping for the cover but also provide a sort of locating locking mechanism for your gasket so when you've removed all your bolts just make sure you pull all of these out and put them in a safe place all the bolts out we've taken these retainers out from there as well and put them in the bolt the only tool you might find useful to have hanging about is one of these little magnetic things because when you take the bolts out the back they're not the easiest to get to so just to do that would be easier that's all that's just something we found um, now really we're ready to take this off and we're actually doing it as is and we should be able to just slide that off there and here she goes right. so tip that upside down little top tip have yourself a piece of carpet ready to put it on and don't want to disturb that so if you did want to replace the injector loom here this would be the time to do it there's the connector down there that sometimes gets oil in here and runs back to the ECU now here's the gasket so it tends to leak at the back there just drips down and you can see probably where if I take it off there now you can see where it's pooling there and I guess that's where it's leaking from yeah it's in that area this is really rigid and if we have a look at the new one just to show you the difference that's really pliable it can it will compress won't it yeah, whereas this is quite almost brittle. Yeah. yeah. So that's had its day. So we'll remove that. So we'll just show you some bits here just for reference in case you're doing any other jobs. What it looks like. Cam chain. Injectors. As John said, it is pulling at the back here, and we had noticed it's dripping down here. It's not the fuel pressure regulator, because that's all been done before. We did that in a previous video. It sort of comes down here, so, and it is thick, and it is back oil, so. Yeah. So, our next thing will be to basically give this a real good clean. Yeah. Make sure um, everything sits nicely on See it. See that there's dirt there. So we'll clean all that up and then we'll uh, put the new gasket on and we'll show you us doing that and then tightening back up and that really um, is the job done. Yeah, so, it's a simple enough job. Yeah, probably, we won't make this video, I'd say about half an hour to do it, really. Yeah, so we'll put the new gasket on and uh, then we'll come back to you. Okay, we're ready to fit the new gasket. An important thing to remember, you see these ridge lines there? They should be facing towards you so you can see them. You see that little half moon shape there? It's really self-explanatory to be honest. That pops in there. And let's just fit the rest. these lugs and holes go together just pop up pop them in there there right so that's roughly where it should be the next thing you need to do remember we took these retainers out these now need to go back in and just push them in like that and you just need to perhaps do the four corners first so it holds the gasket as well and just go round, there we go. Make sure it's all sit sitting home. I've got to say this um, gasket from G4S. Uh, JGS. JGS, G4S, a security firm, is uh, an excellent fit. Yeah. 
So you pop all these in uh, and then we'll refit it. This is important to note, this part here, this half moon goes at the back here, up facing upwards. Yeah, you can't really go wrong with it because the other half moon sits in the bottom here. Just remember the ridges should be facing you. So we'll refit all this and then we'll get it back on. Yeah, and we'll show you, uh, this, this is the first time we've done this, isn't it, on this vehicle? How it is, real life situation sort of thing. How easy your little problems will bump into. Because sometimes what looks the easiest job is the most difficult, time consuming job sometimes. So we went to refit our rocker cover gasket and we tilted it up at an angle to try and pop it in there but there just wasn't enough room and every time we tried to do that it was trying to push the gasket out. What we noticed was at the back here there's a plastic cover that forms part of the, the, sh the, the bigger cover on top, top yeah. yeah. And what we ended up doing was removing these two bolts here and this is a coolant pipe because just behind here there's another one of those. Little there. Uh, eight mil bolt. Yeah. And you can just get a uh, ratchet socket in there, behind there. And you need to remove that. And then what that does, that gives you, you can see there, if that wasn't removed, how tight that is. You've got to try and get it under and everything. By just removing that on the passenger side and pushing back, that gives you so much more space to fit this. And it goes in so much easier. I've got a feeling that, um, when some people do this, they struggle because this is in place and they don't quite get a good enough seating at the back with the gasket and that's possibly why it, it leaks and just drips again. So just by removing that bolt gives you so much more room. So let's just have a look at that there. Without removing it, it's there and you've got to slide it under. With it removed, you can just drop the I'll gasket show you that in. inside as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you really do need to do that yeah. and as you can see the gasket it goes all the way around and it'll just clamp down yeah okay so now what we've got to do is do those bolts back up and it's 10 newton meters and pop the coolant pipe back on and then we'll be done it's the most awkward bit is getting this off at the back persevere with it and getting the gasket to fit nicely but apart from that it's fairly straightforward anyway thanks for watching and uh, this has helped to cure your dripping leak on your disco too. The thumbs up would be great. And the subscription because we're a small channel and it does sincerely help if you subscribe. Thank you.